Have you been asked to graph an inequality that looks like this one and you're just completely stuck? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to make it super easy for you to understand what to do in this quick video today. But first, I want to say that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. If you're someone who finds algebra tricky and thinks that it can be very complicated, we'll give this video a thumbs up and that way I'll know that you could use some more help in algebra. Thank you. This is an inequality that you've been asked to graph and I want you to recognize that this is actually in the format of a circle. Let's refresh our recollection of what the formula for a circle looks like. You've got parentheses x minus h squared plus parentheses y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. And with this, our center is h and k and our radius is the uh, is this it's the radius is the r and in this case it's squared so we'd take the square root of whatever this is here if you want a refresher on how to solve the equation for a circle i've done some videos on that and i've linked one of them up here take a look at that one when you're done with this one all right now this one's got the x minus h squared and this one's got the y minus k squared which is it looks different from this but if we rewrite it how would we wind up with just an x squared when we've got x minus h squared well that would be in the case of the h and the k being zeros so if i had an x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared less than equal to one, I'm just gonna have that there, then this would simplify to x squared plus y squared is less than equal to one. So this tells us that our center is equal to zero and zero because that's our h and that's our k which is also our x and our y so that's zero and zero is our center because that is what would make this look like this with the x squared plus y squared the only thing left to find out is what's the radius and that would be our one and you could take the square root of it, but the square root of one is one. So we know now our radius is one and our center is zero, zero. We can start graphing this. So I'm gonna get my graph paper here and turn it right side up. And we'll take a look here. And here's our center is zero, zero. So I'm gonna put a little point here at the center because that's the center of our circle and our radius is one. That means I'm gonna go out one here, I can go out one here, go out one here, and go out one this way. And then I can just connect those dots to make our circle. So our circle looks like this. However, if you notice, we didn't just have an equals one, we had a less than an equals to one. So this is an inequality. If it was just equal one, it would be just the solid circle. But in this case, it's less than or equal to one. So we need to find out whether our shading is gonna be the outside of the circle or the inside of the circle. And the best way to do that would be with a test point. So let's pick a test point. And what test point would we like to pick? Well, I like to pick the easiest test point. I'm gonna pick zero and zero. You can pick any point 
on the graph. And then the question would be, is it inside the circle or is it outside the circle? So I could have picked any point, but I like to pick something easy. So 0, 0 is about as easy as it gets. And so we're going to take our test point, of course, this is our x and our y. Again, I could pick any point. I pick those two. And I'm going to feed it back into our equation. Our original equation, as you recall, was x squared plus y squared is less than and equal to 1. So we're going to feed in the test point to see if it's true. So I'll pull out the x, and that's squared, and I just leave an empty box there. Plus, I pull out the y, I'm going to label it, and that's squared, is less than or equal to 1. Let's, let's place our x test point here, and let's put our y test point there. 0 squared is 0. And 0 squared is 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0, and is 0, is it true that 0 is less than or equal to 1? Yes, it is. So that means that the center of the circle is going to be shaded in. So this is the final graph for that inequality. The center of the circle is, is shaded like that. And that is our solution. The center is 0, 0, and our radius is 1, and that's what the graph looks like. Now you know how to graph an inequality circle, but there's a lot more that you need to know. So I recommend that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.